G'day everyone, Sizz Dog here for Nostalgia Button. I'm here at Trippy Trades because Trippy Trades have come on board as Nostalgia Button's first ever sponsor. We've got a discount code for all our loyal subscribers. It's Button15. Throw that into trippytrades.com.au and you will get 15% off store wide. Check out their website. They've got everything from PS1 to PS5, Xbox 360, Xbox One, all the Xboxes. Button 15, store wide, trippy trades. Get on top of it, buttoners. Oh yeah. What's up everybody, Sizzdog here for Nostalgia Button. In today's video, I'm here at the mecca of action figures and vintage collectibles in Melbourne, Australia. It is of course Lobo's Collectibles. And I'm gonna be documenting their insane vintage Star Wars figure display. Every figure, every vehicle, every playset. Let's check it out. All right, so I'm here at Lobo's and before you, you see six full cabinets of vintage Star Wars action figures, play sets, and vehicles. Um, it's two cabinets per movie. So we've got Star Wars right here.
we've got the Empire Strikes Back right here.
Bounty hunters. We don't need that scum. Yes, sir. Those rebels won't escape us. have Return of the Jedi here.
Pretty much every single scene in the movie is represented. Lots of different Easter eggs. I'll, we'll have shot the entire thing and you'll have seen every single little aspect of this collection because it's only gonna be here for a little while. I think a couple more months and then it's gonna be broken down and a lot of it will be for sale. Um, some of it may still stay in the, the PC of Lobo's collectibles, the personal collection. But um, so impressive. I'm so glad I've been able to document this today and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's not every day you get to see this much vintage Star Wars collectibles all in one space, especially displayed this well. So shout out to Lobo's Collectibles. You guys have outdone yourselves as always. I, I use them in the appropriate manner. Oh, we've got Dennis here from Lobo's and he's just kind of explaining to us a couple of things that I may have missed when I was filming. So. We've got these little card backs here. And you were saying they were mail aways. They were mail aways for the Hoth play set, 1981, 82. You would have had that mailed away to you. And so these are the pieces that you would get. So Correct. all these little Hoth play sets, and you can see the grooves yeah. here. So that's where those um, the images, backs. the card backs, yeah. which if we kind of zoom back up here, these card backs came with those mail aways yeah. so that you could create a little scene of action in your bedroom. Mm. And here's another one here, I'm assuming. This little card back here as well. Correct. That's from the mail aways. Correct. And now in 2023, we're able to put them all together and you can see, look at them all there, all set up. But we used them there just to represent the flooring of the Rebel base at Hoth. Ah, yes. So it was just to represent the flooring. Very of the Rebel clever. Base. Yeah. So you've got so many of them. How much is just one piece of those um, well, those, mail aways worth? They were sold in a pack of four. So a pack of four, but look, you can, I mean, those ones are not for sale, but um, yeah. like one piece, one L shape, maybe 40 to $50. Wow. If you're lucky. Yeah, yeah. $40, yeah. $50, $60, dollars is going up in value. When um, they come up, hey, yeah. when they come up. So yeah. cool. Thanks for sharing that little tidbit. Yeah. Um, I've obviously already filmed everything, but this is a great little wrap up for the video. Fantastic. And another one of my favorite moments that you've been able to capture is the Ewoks capturing our <laughs> heroes in the net. Yeah, a lot of the time, like that came from an Ewok playset. 
So a lot of the times, like they gave you bits and pieces and accessories for play sets that you could use, use your imagination to use. Kenner yeah. was a very good toy company. They really excelled in giving you enough toys and features to really play with your play sets. Key moments in the film so that you could really relive those yeah, moments exactly. over and over again in, in your bedroom or, yeah. or in the sand pit. Fantastic. The, spot, the biker Dude, chase is amazing. This, this is just chase. brilliant. It looks like he's literally <laughs> flying off the handles of that yeah. speeder bike. <laughs> I, used, I used Wicket there. I mean, it technically wasn't Wicket, but, but because still, it was small enough, it looks good. It works perfectly. And you've got one of the biker scouts just exploding halfway through his explosion. <laughs> um, so it's really cool, and the angle's really cool, the way they're angling. Yeah, yeah, that is sick. Because you've, you've displayed them all on these like acrylic clear boxes, which you can kind of see the magic that you've created there. But when you're just looking at the figures, you, you really don't even see them. You just see the no. scene and it's just yeah. This so scene's great. probably one of my favorite. It's like the most least impressive as far as toys go, but it's the heartfelt moment where Luke is saying goodbye to Yoda and vice versa. So Yeah, because these yeah. figures aren't for this playset. You've put them in there to create that moment, which is well, just Well, it's awesome. Dagobah, so yeah. it, it is the playset for Yoda, but that's you know, Luke goes back to wishing, you know, seeing off and yeah. goodbye. And he, that that little blanket there is is Yoda's original cape. So it's all legit still, but Oh, so that little blanket is yeah. actually from Yoda's cape. Yeah, that's Yoda's dress. Oh, it is yeah. too, yeah. You can see the yeah. little ah. yeah. So I've tried to, I've just used Kenner items and that's all. You just yeah. gotta imagine them how you're gonna use it. But those sort of moments and like um Luke seeing the ghost spirits at the end when he's yeah. up against the thread end or This is the end, which we've seen already in the video, but we're just wrapping it up here. And I really enjoy how they've got Anakin Skywalker kind of like they they weren't able to like make him a ghost but they're like you know what we'll just give him a different kind of paint application yeah. to make him look kind of more spirit looking yeah. and it's really just it's just they've just nailed it it's just so great wow well yeah. thank you so much dennis yeah, for letting me enjoy. film this insane enjoy. display will we see you next time at Lobo? you yes. you're, you're not going i'm always anywhere. here i never leave yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's your job bro it's my job love it if you did like this video please hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and, and when you do hit that subscribe button, make sure your bell notifications are turned on. It's only one last thing to do. Hit my pretend nostalgia button, boom! And we'll see you next week, buttoners. Oh yeah! What you got this week? Did you get some toys instead of the groceries? I wanted this since I was a kid. Now I live in a box, but at least I chase the dream. I gotta intercept that package. All my wife will leave me, and I'll end up on the street.